Hi, this is Kanna Babu. This part three of SQL Server FAQs. In this video, we'll discuss about what are the different system databases that are available in SQL Server. Generally, in SQL Server, we are having two types of databases we can create. One is system databases. Other one is user-defined databases. System databases. These databases are uh, created automatically when we install SQL Server. Uh, management studio these all databases are by default available in your sql server user defined databases means the databases that are created by the programmer depending on the user requirement are called as user defined databases so here are different types of system databases that are available are first one is master database model database tempdb temporary database msdb microsoft database so here you see let us see. I will try to open my SQL Server. There you can see. Once when we try to log into your SQL Server, there you can see what within the Object Explorer you can see databases. Below the databases you can see what System Databases. Here you can find four databases are there. One is Master, Model, MSDB, TempDB. And uh, these databases contain all the information that is required for the server SQL Server to perform some operations. And these databases will store all the system level information. Like first database is master database. So let us see what is master database. Master database is a system database. It contains the information about the server's configuration. It is very important database because it is used to maintain the entire information about the server. Is it clear? So it is always recommended to maintain a separate copy of what master database if you delete master database your sql server will not work work the complete information of the database like the uh, user authentication details like server names user names uh, these entire information is stored in where master database so it is always recommended to maintain a separate copy of what master database we must not delete what master database this database comes of the uh, so system related tables that are available is it clear here you see system related tables and uh, the stored procedures related to your uh, um, sql server these all are available so we must not delete what master database if you delete master database your sql server will not work we cannot interact with what database server next one is model database so model database is a template for all the other databases that is, whenever we create a user-defined database, whenever we create a new database in SQL Server, then the contents of the model database will be copied into user-defined database. So, we must not delete model database also. Let us see here. What is the meaning of that? For example, here you see, I have one database called model database. In this model database, for example, I will try to create one table in model database. I will try to create one table, create table t1 create table t1 column names c1 data type is int comma another column name c2 data type is int i created one table in where model database right click refresh now here you see the table is created t1 and similarly i will try to create one more table here create table t2 create table t2 and here i will try to create it two tables are there in my model database now, whenever we try to create a user-defined database, user-defined database means the database that was created depending on the user requirement. Something like college database, company database, some uh, any user-defined database. These four are system databases. Master, model, MSDB, TempDB. User-defined database means that is created depending on the user requirement. Now, I want to create one database. Create database, my college. I will create one database with name my college. See, if you observe clearly, I am creating only database. I am not creating any tables. But whenever you create a user-defined database, then by default what will happen means, whatever the contents that are available in where model database, these contents will be copied into user-defined database. So model database is a template for all the other databases. So whenever we create a user-defined database, here I will try to execute here you see command completed successfully go and check in my college database then automatically these two tables are also copied go and check here right click on databases refresh go to here my college open the database there you can see what tables so t1 t2 
the whatever the con tables are whatever the content that is available in model database this content is copied into user defined database so master database is used to maintain the configuration level information or the server information or the system level information will be stored in master database model database will act like a template for all the other databases is it clear that is about model database next one is msdb msdb means microsoft database this database stores the information related to jobs as well as schedule sets as and alerts that are created on the server is it clear so actually it stores the information related to database backups dds packages replications sql agent information and it is used to schedule jobs and what alerts msdb microsoft database so actually msdb is an important system database in sql server and this database is mainly used to store the sql server agent uh, activities like sql server jobs mails uh, service brokers and the maintenance plans and the system database backup history etc this all information are stored in where msdb and here the next one is temporary database temporary database means it is used to store the temporary objects like temporary tables and temporary stored procedures here actually sql server provides the concept of temporary tables uh, which will help the developer in a better manner something like these tables can be created run time and can uh, do all the kinds of operations that a normal table can do but based on the table types the scope is limited uh, these tables are created inside temporary database mostly these tables are global uh, tables as well as local tables will be there when we, whenever you want to perform any temporary operations or temporary calculations on the database and these tables are created in tempdb so these are the four databases that are available first one is master database next one is model database next one is temporary database next one is msdb microsoft database master database is used to maintain the configuration level information or the system level information uh, of your sql server model database is a template for all the other databases we must not delete the master database and uh, it is always recommended to maintain a separate copy of the master database in your sql server tempdb is used to create temporary tables as well as temporary stored procedures microsoft database is used to schedule jobs and alerts so in the next video we'll discuss some other questions for more videos you can subscribe to my youtube channel and facebook group thank you have a nice day